Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel for cooking. On the last few videos I showed you how to make the Christmas related baking. Now if you haven't checked that, check it out to see if you can make these cookies. The baking things. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the cinnamon raisin muffins which is going to be a raisin one and flavour with cinnamon. Now this is three cups of water to a bowl in a small saucepan. You can already boil away. Now, now it's boiled in a small saucepan. We're just going to remove this from the heat and then add on 3 quarters cup, that's 109 grams of raisins. You're just going to let it sit for 10 minutes until it is, until the raisins are plumped. Now this is going to be the dry ingredient, so we're putting in half a teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of salt. And two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. We're going to add in one and three quarters cups of self all purpose flour. And this gets the same as plain flour, which is 227 grams. This will add both the granulated sugar, which is 50 grams, and light brown sugar, which is 110 grams. We're just going to sift this in, into a sieve. This is the mixture that has been sieved with a saver. When, when it has been sifted, you don't mix it with the whisk. This is going to demonstrate how you whisk the dry ingredients. This is a dry ingredient mixture that has already been mixed with a whisk. This is going to show you what to do next once we get to that stage. Once we get to that stage, there's a well in the middle you're going to make. Now we're going to move to the wet ingredients. 
because in the four core we're going to risk the wet ingredients so I've got one egg and a teaspoon of vanilla extract and also to this I've got some three quarter cup of whole milk that's 180 mils and Seventy five grams of butter, which will be whisked with a whisk. Once it's Once the wet ingredients have been blended, you're going to put it in the flour mixture in the centre of the well flour mixture. You can fold everything through until it is well blended, fold together all of the ingredients once you mix this, don't over mix this Once it's better and the other mixing has been avoided, you can start to add in the plump raisins and fold it in through. Once it has been folded in, you've got to divide the batter evenly into 12 prepared muffin cases. I'm going to address this to you. Don't overfill this muffin cases. Once it has been divided, I've got a, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and two tablespoons of light brown sugar. I just want to wanna do is to top these toppings off on top of the muffins you might have smelled the cinnamons already because it looks like Christmas to you that is the spring cut out over the muffin mix Now I'm going to pre -de pre this. I'll pre in my oven to 200 degrees, that's 400 F. You're going to put the muffins in for about 18 to 20 minutes or until the skewer has come out clean. Now you, what you're going to see what it looks like after it's been done and from the oven.
Now the thing about a razor muffins a big done. You got these toppings on the top and he's got raisins in the mixture. As you can see, it has been risen like it is made so and it's Christmas so and if you would like to see more recipes from me don't forget to subscribe and comment down what you think the recipe should be next. Bye.